Hey guys, Andre here with something a little bit different, as you can probably already tell, me being on camera and all, which is something we don't do too often around these parts, probably for good reason based on my amazing framing skills. Anyways, the Mario Tennis Aces demo is out, hopefully you've been playing it, it's a ton of fun, it basically hasn't left my TV here since it came out yesterday, uh, it's just been a blast. Um, it's been so good in fact that it reminded me of something uh, that I haven't thought about in quite a few years, and that's how the Mario Tennis games used to be really good. Arguably, we haven't had a great one since Mario Power Tennis on the GameCube, so the fact that this game is even reminding me of it, that it's even close to it, is saying something. In fact, I think this game might actually beat it. We'll have to wait for the full review, it's way too early to say, but I'm having a really good time with it so far. However, there is one thing I really loved about Mario Power Tennis that no game has been able to do since, and that's the fact that it supported the GameCube controller. The best controller of all time, it felt like it was made for a lot of those games actually, maybe not third party ones, but for Nintendo's first party games, it felt perfect. So I was thinking, man, wouldn't it be great if I could use this baby on Mario Power or Mario Tennis Aces on the Nintendo Switch? And then I remembered, wait a second, they added an update uh, back in October that supports the Wii U GameCube controller adapter. So I thought I'd try it out and see how well it worked. And spoilers, it works super freaking well. So if you have one of these, you can actually just connect it to your, to your Nintendo Switch and plug a GameCube controller right into it and give it a shot yourself. So I figured I'd show it off just to give you an idea of, of how you can play with this game, as well as give you a few tips, by the way, you may not you may not be aware of. All right, so it works as you'd expect. When you move the control stick, you can serve with A, that's also top spin, just like in Power Tennis. B is slice, also just like in Power Tennis. And then also it gives you easy access to the um, Aces exclusive features, like uh, zone shots, which let's see if I can pull off here with R. There we go, slow motion, zone speed or whatever. Yeah, it's all feeling really good right now. Um, special shots are done with L. Maybe I don't even need to explain it because the controls are mapped letter to letter. Um, however, now there is one big difference in Aces versus um, versus Power Tennis on the GameCube, and that's the fact that according to the instructions, lob shots and drop shots are performed by holding uh, up or down the control stick while pressing X. So let's go ahead and get that shot. So we're gonna do a lob shot right now, and we're gonna do a uh, drop shot after that. So that was a lob. So let's do a drop shot by holding down and pressing X. There we go, that's a drop. So, so that's the biggest difference compared to Mario Power Tennis, which is a little bit of a drag, right? Here's the thing though, the classic Mario Power Tennis controls work here too. Here's all you have to do. If you want to do a lob shot without, without doing the X and control stick thing, just press A then B, bam, lob shot. Or for a drop shot, B then A. So do another drop shot here. Well, okay. <laughs> that ball got past us. But we'll do another drop shot here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Just B, A, bam, drop shot. Just like in Power Tennis. So really, this game is feeling just like Power Tennis using the GameCube controller, and it's fantastic. So yeah, I wanted to clarify the drop shot and, uh, and um, uh, lob shot thing, because I've seen a lot of people complaining that you can't do it in this game, and you can. It's just that the game doesn't tell you about it, so a lot of people are led astray by that. Also, while we're here, something else I should tell you, if you're charging a shot and you want to cancel it, check this out, if you're charging a shot, well, hold on, if you want to charge and you want to cancel, just press L. You can cancel your charge, then we can move around the court and get back to a better position if you end up charging on the spot where the ball is not going to. Oh, I forgot to mention too, of course, trick shots are can be done with a C-stick as well. So it really is a perfect fit for this game. The only real downside is you do lose the use of rumble, I mean, both HD rumble and any form of rumble. Uh, which sucks because they do have a really cool heartbeat effect in a game point, I believe, where you can actually feel the heartbeat in your hand, so that's not replicated with a GameCube controller. Otherwise, though, I think this might be my preferred way of playing now, because it just feels so good! Um, here, I can show off a special shot now, too, with L. So yeah, the controls map super well to this game. I highly recommend giving it a shot, so to speak. Um, also, no motion controls, but I prefer that, even though I totally botched that thing right there. Uh, but yeah. So there you have it guys, that's Mario Tennis Aces with the best controller of all time, again, it's amazing. Um, thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, make sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already for lots more on Mario Tennis Aces, including hopefully an eventual review, and everything else on Nintendo Switch as well. Catch you later, bye.